IMAGINE project is a cross-constituent project that includes faculty, staff, and students. A total of 24 participants in all, each person telling their individual story, not as it relates to who they are here at Swarthmore, but them as individuals and, and what they bring to this college as an individual. My job here is to create an opportunity for people to shine. Because when we do that, when we appreciate and celebrate people for their uniqueness, for their individuality, for their gifts, for their challenges, for their differences, we learn to appreciate one another more. And that's the foundation of this work. We thought that this would be a great idea to just to bring everyone together to work on this project where we can really lift up and celebrate our individualness, our uniqueness that make up this beautiful community that we have. I decided to bring this to hats because in school, in life in general, I'm always wearing two hats. I'm in one side and in another. And I thought in my photo it would be appropriate to have that. Like I put on one, I'm a professor. And almost I put another one, I'm an administrator. Uh, as I say, I'm, lat well, I'm Latino, <laughs> like that, and at the same time I'm a U.S. citizen. So I feel that in my life I'm always balancing those, and this is the metaphor that I chose. What's so powerful about sharing stories is that things that you might never guess about someone, like learning those things really not only makes you think about that person, but then you think about, well, what are the, all the other things about everybody else that I don't know? I am not like the representative of all Latina women. I am not the representative of all people from New Jersey. I really just want to share with you my experience and really even grow with you, like know what it is more um, to be who I am because I feel like identities, they don't exist in vacuums. Identities work off of each other and identities work with each other. I think this is the truest sentence that I could ever think of or ever try to come up with, because I did not have to come up with it. It just is true. This one I didn't think about, I just reflected on my life and tried to put my life in one sentence the best I could. And it's the fact that I am the son of a strong one. A lot of the goals that people have here is to connect with other people. They, they do want community and everyone's here really smart and academically rigorous and you know people are pursuing some amazing things um, in the classroom but we want to create that space outside of the classroom where people are pursuing themselves and are becoming the best humans that they can be. All of us should be bees in that regard, that we take stuff from this environment, but we give something back to it. And we always journey around trying to find different pollen, different experiences, if you will, and in many ways try to cultivate our own selves. In that way, we are all artists, and in that way, we all have stories to tell. I'm Ghana, I'm Blackstar, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter. I am an identical twin. I am from Colorado. I am a rugby player. I'm a rugby player. I am a professor, I'm an anthropologist, I'm a visual anthropologist. I'm open. I'm strong. I'm hungry. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just a child of God doing his work. Okay, I am adopted from China. I'm a runner, and yeah, I'm here. Oh shoot, I, I am here, right? <laughs> shoot! Soy colombiana, soy poeta, soy una activista, soy una estudiante, soy una hija, una hermana, soy una persona.